we start with the substitution y is equal to vx. Taking the derivative of both sides, we get dy upon dx is equal to v plus x times dv upon dx. Therefore, the given differential equation becomes v plus x times dv upon dx is equal to 2vx minus x upon 2x plus vx. The right hand side simplifies to 2v minus 1 upon 2 plus v. This implies that x times dv upon dx is equal to 2v minus 1 upon 2 plus v minus v. This is equal to 2v minus 1 minus v times 2 plus v divided by 2 plus v. And the right hand side simplifies to minus in brackets v square plus 1 divided by 2 plus v. And this is equal to the left hand side which is x times dv upon dx. Now separating the variables this can be written as 2 plus v divided by v square plus 1 dv is equal to minus dx upon x. Integrating both sides, introducing a constant of integration on the right hand side, let's denote it by ln c. Now the left hand side can be broken into two parts. The first component is integral 2 dv upon v square plus 1 and the second component is integral v dv divided by v square plus 1. And this is equal to the right hand side which is minus of ln x plus ln c which can also be written as ln of c upon x. This implies that 2 times tan inverse v plus half of ln of v square plus 1 is equal to ln of c upon x. Replacing v with y upon x we get 2 times tan inverse y upon x plus half of ln of 1 plus y square upon x square is equal to ln of c upon x. In other words, 2 times tan inverse y upon x is equal to ln of c upon x minus half of ln of x square plus y square upon x square. Using properties of logarithms, the right hand side can be written as ln c minus ln x minus half of in brackets ln of x square plus y square minus ln of x square. ln of x square is equal to 2 times ln x and this cancels with minus ln x outside the brackets and therefore the right hand side simplifies to ln of c minus half of ln of x square plus y square. And this is equal to the left hand side which is 2 times tan inverse y upon x. And this is the required solution.